proud to care in the community. The Chesterfield Royal Hospital, proud to care and renowned for its provision of high quality care for inpatients and outpatients. But it doesn't stop there. We have several dedicated teams who take their care to the women, children and their families and provide a service within their communities. This video shows some of those community services that are provided within the Women and Children's Directorate. The community care starts before birth. In partnership with Chesterfield Borough Council, we opened a community midwifery base in July 2011, which is situated in the Staveley Healthy Living Centre. The base is staffed with three midwives and two maternity support workers throughout the day. Previously, women would have to wait until a midwife was based at their GP, offering very little flexibility. But the centre's mixture of drop-in sessions and appointments offers much more choice. The centre also offers a range of health benefits, including exercise classes such as aquanatal and advice on healthy eating and how to stop smoking. All of this is done in partnership with Chesterfield Borough Council. Here is centre manager Lee Alcock. When customers come to the Alpha Living Centre that uh, are pregnant, there's a whole range of uh, classes so they could uh, come into the pool as it, uh, you know, for aquasize classes, and also they can come into specialist gym programs and come into the the gym and into the dance studio that we've got. Uh, and the, we've we've gone through the program and and selected certain exercise classes that uh, mums-to-be can actually come and attend and feel confident they're actually with qualified people that are able to support them through the pregnancy. We've managed to um, train up uh, our staff with the specialist qualifications, which is probably unique to Chesterfield because we know that there's a need there and we're trying to provide a, a service to that customer group. The centre is in addition to visiting ladies in their own home where follow-up appointments are also offered. The option is there to see the same midwife, so the consistency in care and support for the patient is maintained throughout well, pregnancy. That sounds well. It's a lovely beat, that, nice and variable. This care carries on seamlessly through our Chesterfield Birth Centre, after which the community midwives and community nurses get involved. Most births pass without incident, but there will always be occasions where babies need a little extra help once they're at home. Our community nursing team provide a 24-hour, seven days a week service to babies, children and young people. In the event of them needing specialist nursing care, our community nurses will go out to people's homes to provide treatment in an effort to reduce the likelihood of admission to hospital. The team works with children with a very wide range of conditions, including cerebral palsy, oxygen dependency, heart problems, cancer, rheumatoid arthritis, bowel and bladder conditions, cystic fibrosis and other medical conditions. It's uh, sort of really nice to see people at home because they're, they're, they're themselves then, you know, in, in hospital they're being your guests if you like and, it, and they're worried and the, the child's usually obviously poorly and, it, and it's... Uh, Quite a, quite a different situation really and I think the change from being in hospital if you've been somewhere like the neonatal unit for a long time and then having to uh, make the decisions yourself you know from, from the parents point of view about about what you should do about this and that that in the past professionals have been doing is quite scary really and so we try and back people up. Hey, are you gonna, oh, you're going to open your eyes. So all we're going to do is just pop this just into baby's ear. We'll yeah. put a sound into the ear. Our hearing services are available for all children aged from birth to 16 years old. We test for any hearing loss to detect it as early as possible, including within hours of birth when it can be carried out whilst the baby is asleep. Any problems are then treated by the child audiology team. Lovely response in that ear today, a nice clear <laughs> response, so that's very good. Well done. So good. Uh, by doing the test out in the community as opposed to doing them and here in the trust there's um, a lot less time involved for the parents in terms of travel children tend to be a lot more comfortable in a clinic sort of setting rather than in that hospital setting less time out of school and um, general benefits all around really our community teams Hi. frequently go out and about across north derbyshire the high peak bolsover and north dales Providing care to children away from a hospital environment and at the convenience of their families, the service provides care in familiar environments that remove stress and can allow the care they provide to work to its maximum potential. Are you going to have a look at that one? It's 
So what Christopher's doing is he's sitting on his wedge to try and work his core muscles because he struggles with his stability. We've put him on an angle because he finds it too difficult to sit on a flat on a flat wedge. The reason that we've chose to do this activity is for Christopher with his development he would struggle to be able to sit independently and use his hands. So what we're getting him to do is just focus on the core muscles whilst looking around and then what we're going to do is take him into his more supportive seating where we're going to take away the bit of him working on his trunk and be able to free up his hands to play. Their work extends to mainstream and special schools, nurseries, children's centres and also provides the chance to see families in their own homes and involve the entire family in the care. Treatments and services are also provided at the DEN, including in the nursery, clinic rooms, sensory rooms and paediatric hydrotherapy involving the whole family. When children reach school age, our services include the school health team that consists of around 40 school nurses and 10 school health assistants at any one time. They will perform a number of tests such as the height and weight test and the hearing test carried out by our highly skilled team of professionals or with the full cooperation of the school staff. Our therapy services have quite a presence in schools across the region where the youngsters can receive support from friends and teachers. We work very closely with the schools and its staff to ensure that we can assess for suitable equipment so that children can make the most of their time in school. Teachers, teaching assistants and of course the child's parents and carers are kept fully informed as to what kind of therapy will be given to the child and why. Yeah, well, we like coming into the school because um, we like to integrate the physiotherapy um, throughout uh, Rebecca's school day, really. So rather than seeing her perhaps, you know, on a, on a basis, seeing her an hour at a time, we can come in, assess how she's doing, give her more targets to work on. And then with the, the educational staff here in school, they work on her with a programme throughout the week. Uh, so then it's integrated in all parts of your, your day and yeah. your week, isn't it? So it's not just a, a one-off thing, but it's part of everything that you do, isn't it? Yeah. And we also see you at home as well, so we can involve parents and they know what we're doing and can help you carry on the work at home as well. So it's a, an ongoing thing. It's all about how you're coping physically in life, isn't it? Yeah. It's not just physical health care that is provided by our dedicated teams. There is also a lot of support and treatment in mental health needs as well. We have a dedicated Child, Adolescent and Mental Health Service, or CAMS for short, who work in schools, outlying centres or the families' homes. For children approaching secondary school age, there are transitional sessions designed to prepare them emotionally for the jump from primary to secondary school. This includes issues such as bullying, making new friends, who to go to for help on any given topic and the different challenges they will face. The support provided by school health teams progresses into secondary school where, as the children grow up, they host sessions on a range of more adult topics such as teenage pregnancy, drink and drugs. The services are very widely used and highly respected. Here's what some of our patients, their families and carers think. The community midwife service has been really excellent for us. It, it's really helped us. We've found the service invaluable. I would recommend this for other mums to be, yes, definitely. I can't begin to say to you how invaluable Emma's visits have been for Isaac. His, to say how he was when Emma first saw him, he's just progressed so much and everything that she's done with him and the way that she's, she's continued, yeah. despite at the yeah. beginning, it being really, really difficult. From the very beginning, we said, we know that he's a clever boy, mm. he just isn't able to show us because it's such a verbal world. And now he is able to show mm. us using this and he will start yeah. to use more and more language. And his interaction at nursery with this has been in, well, I just can't oh. say. It's been wonderful, thank you so yeah, much. I'd just like to say thanks for the cams because they've been absolutely amazing. Mm. Every single one of them are brilliant and they're so, so supportive and they listen and that is a biggie for me. The therapy that Josh receives uh, makes him more independent, it makes him more able to play with Theo and Lily together. The equipment is absolutely fantastic, uh, the chair, the bath seat, the high chair, the push chair, everything 
is just so good. We really couldn't manage without it. Um, I found working with Denise really good. I've come on leaps and bounds and I've done a lot of stuff and, which I wouldn't dream of doing, which is nice. Actually.